The Minnesota Timberwolves are honestly shocking everyone right now. And no, this video is not about the great season that they've had. I mean, everyone knows they've been the first seed in the Western Conference for most of this year. They've fallen out of that position lately, but they're still amongst the Thunder and the Denver Nuggets, the top of the Western Conference. Everyone knows the Minnesota Timberwolves are legit. They've proven that over the stretch of this season. But what we're diving into is what they've done in recent weeks, because they have dealt with some turmoil lately. They've dealt with some tough sort of times, particularly with all-star Carl Anthony Towns tearing his meniscus, and we're about a week and a half post-surgery from him, so he's supposed to recover or at least be reevaluated in four weeks, but we're about two and a half weeks away from that here now at this point, but they've had some guys step up, and Rudy Gobert's also been in and out of the lineup in recent, over the past week or so as well, and particularly Anthony Edwards and some role players on this roster have taken their games to the next level and specifically Anthony Edwards is doing some things that are honestly catching the league by storm. So we're going to break down what Anthony Edwards and the Minnesota Timberwolves have been doing lately, why it makes this team even more scary entering the postseason, and why no team in the Western Conference wants to face the Minnesota Timberwolves. So lots of stuff to dive into, but before we do that, folks, again, if you want to keep it locked, everything regarding the NBA, make sure to subscribe to Courtside Digest. We're going to be delivering daily NBA coverage and covering teams like the Minnesota Timberwolves, who have honestly been going crazy lately. Now, the T-Wolves, again, their team has been awesome. They've been great this year, but they're a roster built around, you know, a lot of their money is invested in these top three players. So, you know, Carl Anthony Towns, Rudy Gobert, Anthony Edwards. So, particularly when Towns went down with injury, there were some expectations for the team to take a step back. But really, that hasn't been the case. You look at what they've been doing sort of lately, and again, a couple tough losses to the Lakers, the Cavs, and the Nuggets, but you can see... All of these games have been close, and they've been still able to get some good wins, some steady production from this core group, despite their front line really being depleted. And the first guy that we have to discuss, who has been a monster, taking his game to the next level, is putting up some crazy poster dunks as of late, and it's Anthony Edwards, because this man has just taken his game to another level, which is honestly pretty insane that he's able to do this, you know, because Anthony Edwards only... 22 years old. That's still crazy to just see. He's been averaging 26 points per game, five rebounds, five assists over the course of the season. You know, he's been putting up some solid defensive stats as well. You know, 1.5 steals. Just being a hound energy player down there on the defensive end for Minnesota. You know, he gets three. He hits at a high rate. You know, 37% behind the three-point line on a high volume. I mean, Anthony Edwards has done everything for this Minnesota Timberwolves team. However, he's taken his game to the next level over the past sort of stretch of games. I mean, over his past, what, seven games, he's averaging 31 points per night, seven rebounds, five assists, 1.7 steals, 1.4 blocks, poster dunks every single night. The three-point percentage has gone down to a smaller sample size, but holy smokes. Anthony Edwards is proving to every single person that watches Timberwolves games, every single person that watches highlights. I mean, I'll pull up this graphic again. This is just, this is a man on another level right now. And he is establishing himself because again, there's loads of stars across the NBA, all stars, especially on the wing position. The NBA is loaded with talent. But when you're sort of establishing yourself as an all NBA guy, you know, one of those sort of upper echelon superstar players you got to be winning games, and you've got to be able to do it when your team's going through some rough times. And Anthony Edwards has been doing that. With Carl Anthony Towns and, heck, even Rudy Gobert out in some of these games, he has just elevated his game. He doesn't need that extra floor spacing from Carl Anthony Towns. Obviously, it helps, but he's able to sort of attack the rim, and no one is able to stop this man. He can finish over you, can finish around you. He can do everything at the basket. He's an elite confident enough jump shooter to where he can score everywhere out there on the court and now he's getting comparisons to Michael Jordan left right and center so again I don't think that's a fair thing yet the guy's 22 years old he's not the he's not comparable to MJ at this sort of state but in terms of his level of production the comparisons to D Wade Michael Jordan you kind of get it you know athletic sort of wing with a similar frame, similar build, similar athleticism, able to hit shots, you know, from all over the court to finish around and over people. I mean, he is really shocking everyone with this jump in production at just 22 years old. 22 years old from Anthony Edwards, man. I like that he's getting his praise. I like that he's getting his hype. And 
The fact that he's proving he's a 1A option without the need of secondary stars, obviously to make a deep playoff run, Carl Anthony Towns as well as Rudy Gobert are going to have to be in the lineups. The Western Conference is just too stacked, especially if they face off against the Denver Nuggets or one of these teams in the second round. But Anthony Edwards proving that they can get wins with more so a team of collective of role players around him. That's that's huge for the Minnesota Timberwolves going forward, especially with concerns about uh, Carl Anthony Towns' injury history in the past. But it's not just Anthony Edwards who's been playing well for this team all season and particularly as of late. I mean, I want to give flowers to Mike Conley, who this season at 36 years old, on the other end of his career, a lot of people thought, especially with this last season in Utah, this man was a bit washed. He's probably on his way out of the league. And... Mike Conley's had an awesome NBA career. Everyone loves Mike Conley. He's a great locker room presence wherever he goes, but I don't think anyone really expected the career turnaround, the impact that he'd have on this Minnesota Timberwolves team once he was traded there, especially for D'Angelo Russell. Again, a three-team sort of package going on there, but when he replaced D'Angelo Russell, who was previously an all-star, who had a lot of hype entering the Minnesota Timberwolves team, people thought that was expected to be a downgrade. And even talent-wise, and D'Angelo's been awesome for the LA Lakers, but Conley has really just elevated. He's exactly what this T Wolves team needed. He, a point guard that sets the pace, sets the offense, plays defense, is just a great sort of leader for a young group. And his impact has just been great. His chemistry with Rudy Gobert has been awesome. And he's still putting up solid production 11 points per game, six assists. He's a sneaky good fantasy player, especially with his efficiency, man. Mike Conley. I don't think enough people talk about how well he's been playing this year, what impact he's been having on a top seed in the Western Conference, continues to have here now at this point. So credit to Mike Conley, and another dude that kind of gets overlooked is Nas Reed, who is one of the best six men in the entire NBA when he's out there in the lineups, and he's been getting extended run with Carl Anthony Towns out of the lineup lately, but particularly in his last five games, where Rudy Gobert has been down with injury as well. He's been putting up some ridiculous stats. Nas Reed, 21 points per game, six rebounds, three assists. You know, he knocks down the three-pointer 46%, you know, over the last stretch of games. I mean, Nas Reed at the big man position, getting three starts over this stretch, proving the contract he signed with the Minnesota Timberwolves was an absolute steal for this group and just proving the value that he brings to this team. Man, Nas Reed, Mike Conley, the the Minnesota Timberwolves have an elite amalgamation of role players to go around top stars that have really elevated their game, taken their games to the next level this season. So the T-Wolves, again, I've been saying this about a lot of teams in the Western Conference. There's a lot of squads that are just going to be really tough outs in this year's postseason. And if Anthony Edwards can, you know, establish himself again at only 22 years of age, if he can establish himself as one of those 1A options that outplays a Shea Gildas Alexander, dare I say, outplays a Nikola Jokic in four out of seven games out there in a playoff series, there's no reason the Minnesota Timberwolves don't have a chance at making the NBA Finals. Now, health is going to be a big concern. You know, Rudy Gobert as well as Carl Anthony Towns, they're going to need that front line, especially if they play the Nuggets to slow him down there. I mean, they had a fun playoff series against the Nuggets last season. This team's a whole lot different. And you know, they even have guys like Nikhil Alexander-Walker, who's extremely inconsistent, but his highs are really, really good for in terms of a bucket getter. You know, Jalen McDaniels, his shooting's been off this season, but plays pretty, pretty elite defense there. Kyle Anderson, slow-mo's been doing his thing. So they have a loaded sort of roster that really deserves its respect out there in the Western Conference. And the fact that they've played so well with two of their top stars being in and out of the lineup, I mean... It's shocking to, to the entire league, especially they're led by a 22-year-old star in a tough Western Conference, but I don't know. Maybe it shouldn't because this team is well-built, well-crafted, and well-coached by Chris Finch as well. I'm pumped to see this NBA playoffs. This Western Conference playoffs is going to be dumb this season. So lots of exciting stuff, but let me know what you guys think about the Minnesota Timberwolves play as of late in the comment section down below. You guys are best making this far. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. I'm signing out. Cheers.